Hello, in this tutorial we are going to talk about some of the important terms and the first one over here is plot area. The area which is surrounded by a boundary line is called as plot area. Now in simple words, the total area which belong to you in a city or a town is termed as a plot area. So let's suppose this is the total area that you own in a city or a town. So this will be called as what? Plot area and the plot area will be equal to what? Length into breadth, okay? So the next one over here is a built up area or plant area, okay? This is also very important. The total building area in a plot area is referred as built up area. So let's suppose this is our plot area, okay? And in this plot area, we have this built up area, okay? This one, okay? This is the building area. So this will be called as what? Built up area or plant area. Now area excluding empty spaces around the building is called as built up area or plant area. Now what will be included in built up area or plant area, carpet area, okay? And thickness of all walls and balcony will be included in this uh, built up area or in plant area, okay? Now the next one over here is uh, let's look about what is carpet area. Now carpet area is an area which is enclosed within the walls, okay? It is uh, uh, within the walls, okay? In simple words, area excluding walls in the built up area. From this built up area, when we exclude only the walls, the remaining area will be called as a carpet area, okay? So let's suppose this is our walls, okay? In the plant area. And when we exclude these walls, okay, from this area, and the remaining area will be called as what? Carpet area. Now carpet area will be equal to what? built up area minus area of walls okay now the next one over here is super built up area now super built up area is the built up area plus proportionate area of common area such as the swimming pools will be included in super built up area staircase will be included in built up area okay super built up area sorry lobby lifts open verandas okay so here you can see we have just uh, this super built up area this built up area plus these extra spaces, okay, like uh, we have lobby, lift, uh, we have this staircase, okay. Now the super built up area will be equal to built up area plus common areas like stairs, lobby, okay. So this is all about the super built up area. Next one over here is setback area. Now the empty space around the building is called as uh, setback area. This is our building, this is our whole building, okay. And this empty space, okay, this is called a setback area. This one, this one, this one over here, okay. Now the setback area will be equal to total plot area. This one is total plot area minus super built up area will give us what setback area. Now the next term over here is lump sum items. This is also very important. While preparing an estimate, it is not possible to work out uh, in detail in case of petty items, okay? And the item other than civil engineering items, okay? Uh, such item are called as lump sum items or simply we can say it as L dot S items, okay? Now the first one over here is a work charge establishment, okay? And in work charge establishment, uh, we will have what supervisor, we will have work assistants, we will have watchmen. So during estimate, we do not have exact idea regarding what cost they will incur, okay? Like a supervisor, work assistants, watchmen, okay? So what we will do here during the estimate, we take 1.5% to 2% of total cost for these, okay, for supervisor, for work assistants, for watchmen, okay. So this is lump sum item. And the first one, what? Work charge establishment. Now the next one over here is a water supply charges. This is also in lump sum items, okay. And we take 8% of total cost. And next one is electricity charges, okay. We take 8% of total cost. And uh, during, during execution of work or execution of project, uh, uh, we will have contingencies also. We take 3% to 5% of total cost, okay? And uh, we also include tool and plants of 1% to 1.5%. So these are what lump sum items. First one over here is work charge establishment. Second one, water supply charges, electricity charges, contingencies, tools and plants. So these are called as lump sum items. So these are very important terms uh, in estimation. So hope you understand this session. We'll see you in the next.